One of the advantages narcissistic people have over their victims is that their victims are usually very kind, very caring, very empathetic. They would never come out of the side of their mouth or it's not in their heart to do harm to someone whom they love. Narcissists are not like those people. Look, it's like this. The reason why you get so wounded by your narcissist, this could be your mother, this could be your father, this could be your husband, this could be your wife, this might be your brother or sister, this might be your boss, this might be a coworker who says the most incomprehensible things to you that you would never say to them. And the, th the thing you gotta ask yourself when you're like wounded, when you're like hurting is are there people in your life who you know you don't value their opinion you don't give one iota whatsoever you're you're you, they can say something to you and it rolls off your back you know like water on a duck's back it just rolls off you and the fact of the matter is this narcissistic person that's not the effect their words have on you you got some displaced priorities you got some displaced, we, we will have some displaced placed priorities. We will have some displaced thoughts in our mind that we don't regard the narcissist that way. We don't think of them in the way that we would think of anyone else who said the like things. They can only damage you by the regard you hold for their opinion. And their opinion has already proven to be malicious, to be deceptive, to be toxic, to be more a description. Because look, we can all relate to this. The things they usually say to their victims are more aptly suitable for words that could be said to them. If you bring up some little small problem like, hey, uh, didn't you say you were gonna send this letter off tomorrow or yesterday this had to be there by today and they just blow up at you you weren't you weren't thinking too much you weren't expecting too much they just said they were going to do something they didn't do it and you're just trying to see if you're not crazy well you're not crazy they said they were going to do it and they were irresponsible like usual but then they don't just tell you oh i forgot i'm sorry they can't say what you would say or what i would say they got to tell you that you're oh why are you always complaining why do you act like you just think you're perfect oh you can never do anything wrong oh yeah i wish i you've heard, we have both heard this or we have all heard this it's like okay you're not dealing with a person who's got all the tools in the in their tool shed you're not dealing with a person who, who has a sharp knife. You're not dealing with a person. You're dealing with a very dull individual. You're dealing with someone who has a low bandwidth for the things that you have and I possess. They've got a low bandwidth for certain character traits that, that make life go a whole lot easier. They've got a low bandwidth, a, a low spectrum where they take responsibility. They've got a very low spectrum where they take accountability for anything. They have a very low ability to empathize with what you find important. They want you to empathize for, they want you to see, you and I to see something of the greatest regard whatsoever. And it's really not that big a deal. They make mountains out of molehills while they make molehills out of mountains of character defects that they possess. Can I get an amen? You know what I'm talking about? Well, you gotta put, we have to put, we have to learn to put our perspective of who we're dealing with in order. We're not dealing with a person who's gonna, who's gonna show us the same kind of regard we show them. And if at all possible, we need to put this person in the proper place on the far extreme orbital position in your solar system 
if not out of your solar system. That's usually the best thing you can do. And, and another thing is we have to take responsibility for how their words affect us, how their disposition towards us affects us. You see, a narcissist is lacks self-awareness, and when they lack self-awareness, they lack awareness of the people that they're interacting with. They, they really don't know you. They really don't know you at all. They don't know me. They don't know me. That's just a sense. Grasp this truth. They don't know you and they don't know themselves. So with this low self-awareness, they subconsciously know who they really are. They know they can't be trusted. They know they're irresponsible. They know they're unaccountable. But yet, they will see you through the lens of who they actually are. Have you ever heard this saying in the Bible that says, Judge not that you be not judged, for by the measure you judge others, it will be judged back to you. Now let's listen to the whole thing here. How is it that you who have a log, that would be a big old thing, kind of like this, a log in your eye, say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye. You hypocrite. First, take the log out of your own eye. This is the log. Then you will be able to see clearly to take the speck from your brother's eye. What that means is there is a group of people who shouldn't say anything to anybody else because they more reflect the thing and they reflect the thing that they call out in others and they actually do the thing that they call out in others. Here's something that you find out some of the ministers and preachers who preach the heaviest against homosexuality, which does say in the Bible that that's a sin, but the people who preach the most passionately about something are actually the ones who are doing that thing that they passionately preach about. So at any rate, that's what you have to realize. These people have a log in their eye. These, and, and you would not point out the same thing in them. You're actually walking on eggshells to not point out their character defects. You're trying to, you have tried to do a workaround. And that's where you try to you, you, you try to do a bypass. You know, when there's a construction site going on, they'll put you on a bypass. They'll put you on a detour. You've tried to learn to live your life without the minimum set of expectations that you have to have on another human being for a healthy relationship. You've, you've handled your business. You took care of your business and their business. You washed your clothes and their clothes. You answered their phone calls and your phone calls. You, you, you paid your bills and their bills. You not only paid your bills, you paid... <laughs> Here's this thing I've heard about unforgiveness. And this is a big thing for narcissists. Unforgiveness is like going to dinner with someone. And then when the bill comes, you go to pay the bill and it's some astronomical price of like five thousand four hundred and seventy three dollars you're like what what is this unforgiveness is what's harbored in a person's heart that makes the whole world pay for a cumulative debt that they've never let go of and that usually describes the narcissist quite a bit their 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 disposition their the acrimony that's in their heart the the bitterness in their heart is the way that they have held on to everything that they felt entitled to and they didn't get. Every And every word that anyone ever said to them, any, any way that anyone ever did not rise to the level of not their expectations of themselves. They don't have the same expectations of themselves that they put on others didn't rise to their level of expectations that they set for them. One thing that's traditional in dealing with any narcissistic person, and this is why I went to that scripture verse, it says, you you got this big plank in your eye. you got this tree in your eye trying to get the splinter or the speck out of your brother's eye. First, and they won't do it. They won't examine themselves. They can't examine themselves. So they see you through the lens of that plank that they won't deal with in their own life. And this is my conclusion here. This is my conclusion here. 
I had a conclusion on. Oh, yeah. Jesus said right after that comment, right after that comment about the plank and the and the log in the eye and the do not judge. And that was a that was a comment that would be directed towards a narcissist. He said, Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they turn on you and tear you to pieces. That's a narcissist. Try to keep the greatest distance you can from them and pray for them. Grace and peace.